Okay, folks, this is a new video, okay? So just because you've seen this image <laughs> doesn't mean you've seen this video, so make sure you watch the whole video. Anyway, so you know what my pred uh, my two predictions are. It's Elvis somehow manifests after a spectacular event on June 11th, on or around June 11th in Seattle. And my other prediction is that Trump gets his head wound on August 4th, Obama's birthday in Ohio. Trump gets the head wound and he survives. Those are my two predictions. And I've been telling you how important the 44 and 45 is because Trump was the 44th person to become president, but he was the 45th actual president to take office, okay? So he's the 44 and 45. And I, said, and I told you he's going to get his head wound on August 4th, Obama's birthday. And Obama's the one who was the 44th president, all right? You know, I know it's confusing, but... I've meant I've explained it before. Anyway, the 4445, that's what's important. And I told you that Trump is Elvis's devil twin because Elvis's identical twin died at birth and Trump was his replacement, okay? There would be no Trump if it wasn't for Elvis. Anyway, Elvis has been dead for 44 years, okay? And he, and it won't be 45 years until August 16th this year. So he, right now we're in between 44 and 45 years, and my two predictions are going to happen between those, between the 44 and 45th year since Elvis has been dead. Now pay attention closely, okay? So from the start of the month, I mean from the start of the year, January 1st to June 11th, because I told you June 11th is the day Seattle gets struck. It's 162 days. Okay, because June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. Now, I told you everything is about the devil being in the details. Now, if you go to the bottom, the last calculation is the percentage. Look, it's 44% into the year, okay, since the first of the year. Okay, you understand? From the very first date, whatever you put up here forward, it's 44%. That's what it's saying. So what is the chance that it's the 44% lands on June 11th because I told you that the 44 is the kill number 44 equals kill equals 44 and I just show, showed you all the connections between the 44 and 45 now let's go to Trump Trump was born on June 14th so from the start of the year to June 14th let's look at the devil in the details okay you see, look look right here. It's 45% into the year. 45.21%. 45. Okay? So Trump, I told you, is the 44 and 45th president. Now, let's see how it says including this day. Let's see from January 1st up to this day. What that means is you don't include that day, but up to that day. Okay, so now instead of 165 days, it's 164. And look, it's the same three numbers as his birthday, 614-164. But forget about that. What I'm trying to show you is, now let's look at the devil in the details. Now it's 44.93%. So it's 44 and 45, depending on whether you add that day or not. So my point is that Trump is between the 44 and 45 and he's the 44-45 president. Can you believe this? Now let's look at Elvis. From Elvis's birthday, January 8th to June 11th, when Seattle's going to get struck. Okay? So we're not including that day. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same almost. So look, it's 154 days, right? Look at the devil in the details. It's 42.19%. First of all, the 19 is for that, you know, because Corona is the crown. I told you Elvis needed the 19. But look, it's 22 weeks. This year's the 20, you know, second year, right? 2022. And look, it's the 42. And why is the 42 important? Okay, I told you guys that Washington, where Seattle's located, is the 42nd state. You see? And Elvis was 42 years old when he died. Do you see what I'm saying? And he's been dead for 44 years now. It's in between 44 and 45 years. And right here, I'm showing you from his birthday to June 11th is 42%, right? And from January 1st to June 11th, it was 44%. 
which is the kill number. Do you understand? To death and destruction. And to be exact, look, including that day from Elvis's birthday, it's 155 days. Okay? And look, it's still 42%, but it's 42.47 now. Anyway, what's important about the 155 days is, okay, check this out. So from Elvis's birthday to June 11th is 155 days. Let's go from January 8th, 155 days backwards from his birthday, where it lands. So look, we went from January 8th, Elvis's birthday, backwards 155 days. It lands on August 7th, 8-7. And why is that important, the 8-7? And look, this year, I told you was his most important birthday, he turned 87 years old, 8-7. Do you see that? What I just showed you, the date, August 7th, 8-7. I don't know what that other post was about Hamilton, but anyway, here, 87 again, you see? He turned 87 this year. All I'm trying to show you is that from January 8th to June 11th, it was 155 days, and backwards, it lands on 8-7. And he turned 87 this year. Do you understand? It's the same amount of days to June 11th. These are impossible coincidences. And the same thing with, look at this. So if you went from Elvis's birthday backwards to August 4th, because I told you August 4th is when Trump gets his head wound. Look, it's 158 days, right? Going backwards, 158 days. Let's see how many days it is from Elvis's birthday to Trump. It's the same thing again. January 8th, that was the birthday to, to Trump's birthday. It's 158 days. You see that? So, so going backwards from Elvis' birthday, it lands on August 4th, Obama's birthday. And that's the day Trump gets his head wound. Okay, These are impossible coincidences. So let's go back to the first of the year again. So from January 1st to June 11th, it's 162 days because June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. Okay. And why is January 1st so important? Why did they choose this particular day to be the first of the year? Because January 1st is the only uh, equation, you know, the only time when you put into Gematria calculator a date that it equals 162 forward and 162 backwards. Okay? There's two other dates that equal 162, but they don't equal it backwards. And that's September 3rd and July uh, 12th. But January 1st is the only one that has 162 forward and 162 backwards. And I told you the 162nd day of the year is June 11th. And look, it even has a 216 for the August 4th. You see how impossible that is? And that's why from January 1st to June 11th, that's a big deal because June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. And January 1st equals 162 forward and backward. You understand? All right. And uh, let's go from Trump's birthday and go forward 162 days. Let's see where it lands. So look at that. I went from Trump's birthday, June 14th, forward 162 days it lands on november 22nd and you know what's important about 11 22 don't you that's when jfk died you see 11 22 and i just showed you from trump's birthday forward 162 days it lands on november 22nd i mean can you believe this and remember, I told you that Trump is the 44 and 45th president. Look, there's a 44 connection to a JFK. Watch this. So look at this. When JFK won, it was the 44th quadrennial presidential election. Whatever the heck that means. You know, I, I mean, I know what it means, but I don't, I don't want to explain it. You got to just, you know, look it up yourself. But anyway, it's the 44 connection. That's what I'm trying to show. And you know JFK, he was born on May 29th. So May 29th, the day he's born, is the 149th day of the year. And notice, it looks like Trump's numbers, 614. 
but it's 914 right there, you see? Trump was born 614 if you just turned it upside down the 9. But anyway, forget about that. It's the 149th day of the year, and how many days remain? 216 days remain. What is the 216th day of the year? August 4th is the 216th day of the year, you see? That's the day Trump's going to get his head wound on Obama's birthday. It's the 216th day of the year, which means that JFK's birthday is the backwards of August 4th. Because JFK's birthday was 149th day of the year, you see? I mean, it's just unbelievable. I've shown this a hundred times. I'm just, you know, showing you how ridiculous these coincidences are. And remember, JFK is the one who got the head wound. Just like Trump's going to get his head wound on August 4th. Obama's birthday. So now watch me connect the 4544 to Trump and JFK. Look at this. From Trump's exact birthday, the day he's born, June 14, 1946, if you go forward 4,500, 45 days, it lands on November 22nd, JFK's death date. 45, 45. I mean, can you believe this? You understand? Now, look, if I don't include that day and just put it up to that day, it'll be 45, 44. See, now not including that day, it's 45, 44, you see? And look at this. The same thing would happen if you went from the first of the year Go forward 4,500 days, 4,500, 44, or 45 days, it would land on June 11th. You see how incredible these dates are? It's June 11th and Trump's birthday. Anyway, because uh, June 11th is the day Seattle gets struck, so it's going to be 4,544, and if you add that day, it's 4,545. So now I'm going to connect Elvis's death date, okay? So Elvis died on August 16th, 1977. Now, and I told you this year, January 8th, Elvis turned 87 years old, which was his most important birthday, like I told you. Because from Elvis's death date to his birthday this year, look at this number. It's 162, and I told you the 162nd day of the year is June 11th, the day I'm telling you Seattle gets struck. And then the last three numbers, I mean, you know, I'm connecting the two again, the 216 is August 4th, the day Trump gets his head wound. That's why it's so important, this. It's the 16-2, the 216. If you've been watching my videos, you know exactly what I'm saying. And I told you it's, between, it's been between 44 and 45 years since Elvis died. And let's look at the devil in the details. Look at this. It's got the 44... For the kill number, the 42, for I told you Washington is the 42nd state, Elvis died at the age of 42, and the 74 is a very important number too, you know, it connects to Jesus and Lucifer, okay? If you know my videos, you know what I'm talking about. And remember, I told you earlier that from June 11th, I mean from the first of the year to June 11th, it was 44%. And from Elvis's birthday to June 11th, it was 42%. That's why I was explaining this, okay? Anyway, like I said, this was a super important. Now let's go from Elvis's birthday to June 11th this year, okay? Up to that day. Look at that. It's 44. Look at that. 44, 8, 4. <laughs> you see that? 44, 84. 8-4 is the day Trump gets his head wound. And the 44 is the kill number, you understand? And that was from Elvis's birthday to June 11th, the day that all this is going to happen. Everything's important. This is super important too, but I'm not going to get into it here. And here's the best one. So from Elvis's death date to August 4th, the day Trump gets his head wound. <laughs> look at this, will you? Besides the 44 years, like I told you. Look at, look at this. Look at that. 45 exactly 4500.00 percent you see that and if you don't include the last day if i took the last day out and up to that day it would be 44 93 point something so it's still got a 44 connection too but it already has the 44 so it's not important anyway 
And right now, I'm going to confirm it 100% for you, okay? So JFK is the one who got the head wound. And now I'm going to connect it 100% to Trump here. Watch this. And I told you Trump's going to get his head wound in Ohio, the Buckeye state. You understand? It's all about the eye, the buck. The buck stops here. Remember, I, I, if you've watched my videos about that, I proved that too with Trump. Uh, because the guy who said the buck stops here, he was the president during Trump's uh, birth. The Truman, the 33rd president. You understand? The buck stops here. Okay? It's on Trump. Trump was born during Truman. Anyway, Ohio, where Trump's going to get his head wound, is the 17th state. And notice JFK is even born in the year 17. Okay? And even from uh, JFK's birthday to Elvis's birthday was 17 years. These are important numbers. I, I'm not going to get into that right now. But it, it, I'm just showing you the 17. Even fr from, like I said, JFK's birthday to Elvis's birthday, the day they were born was 17 years. And you know the letter Q, and you know Q is a, uh, connected to Trump, is the 17th letter. There's a 17 connected to the letter Q and connected to Trump. Now, just pay attention and see how incredible this ending is going to be. So, uh, Trump was born June 14, 1946, this exact day and year. So, if you just went from the first year, from the first of the year forward to his birthday, remember I told you the devil's in the details. Remember I showed you it's 4521, right? The percentage. And he was the 45th president, right? So 4521% is from the first of the year to June 14th. 4521%. And remember, I connected the 17 to Trump, okay? And the Ohio and everything else. So 17, 45, 21. So now we're going to go from Trump's birthday to the exact day that JFK was assassinated. So... From the exact day that Trump was born to the exact day that JFK was assassinated, okay, not including that day, up to that day. First of all, it's 17 years. I just got finished showing you that Elvis to JFK was 17 years. Okay, now watch. The devil is in the details. Let's go to the bottom, folks. Look at that. So it's 17, 45, 21. And I just showed you that Trump is the 45, 21. From January 1st to June 14th, Trump's birthday was 45, 21%. So you have 17 for the, you know, for the, uh, for the Ohio and for every other 17 connection I showed you. And 45, 21 is Trump. Can you believe what I'm showing you? Do you see it? Up to the exact day that Trump, that JFK got his head wound. These are impossible coincidences. And like I told you, if you, I don't want to get into these numbers, but this is important too. Anyway, folks, impossible coincidences. You understand? This is 100% going to happen. End of video.